Okay, hello, this is uh, Jeff at Battlefish, and uh, we are looking at my live scope setup. Um, if I back away here, uh, if you watch my videos, I have a casting platform on the front that came with the boat. And I didn't really want to drill holes in my boat, so I figured out a way to attach the pole to the casting platform. And I got these stainless steel U-bolts U bolts at uh, uh, Boathouse Warehouse on uh, Blanding. And um, it's one and a quarter inch PVC. And then I put a cap and a joint just to kind of double thickness it. So when I tighten down the U-bolts, uh, it didn't crack the PVC or bend the PVC pipe, individual's pipe. Okay, so there's that. Then looking on the other side, same thing. There's two joint connectors there. And I have since beefed it up here um, because it was sagging and it was pretty noisy as well, uh, squeaking, because even though you glue the joints together, they still squeak together. So. I glued and screwed them together and uh, beefed it up a little bit. And that's a pivot point right there. And that's greased with axle grease, so it pivots fairly easily and without much noise. And uh, then that's glued and jointed together there. And again, this is one and a quarter PVC. And one inch PVC fits in there real good. Uh, one of the problems I had with the first design was it was uh, too easy to turn. And when I joined these pieces together here, I really slopped the glue on so it actually oozed out inside of here. Um, and it's sort of soft, it's not a hard plastic. So once it dried, when I put the one inch tube in, it was pretty stiff. Um, uh, it's kind of loosened up now. Uh, but I have a hole here so I can um, lock it in place with the pin that I have attached here. Uh, so it doesn't bounce around a lot when I travel with the trailer. And then I have a tie down here. A little Velcro on my push pole uh, that secures it in place. And then uh, this pin here is the locking pin for how it swivels. Take that out. And I'm gonna put this down here. And then it swivels up like that. And then I just have to line up the holes there and put that pin in, that locks it in place. And that's how the whole thing looks. I've got a red handle so I can see it out of the corner of my eye, which way it's pointing, and it's rather confusing sometimes. Sometimes I have it pointing 90 degrees to the boat, and I'm looking at the live scope screen. Uh, of course, if the fish are right in front of, on the live scope screen, they're actually 90 degrees to the boat because that's where the live scope's pointing. So it takes a little bit to get used to that. Um, I always, I try to get in the habit now of always returning it to forward. Um, that way, um, I'm always looking forward and then I just spin it around to look in various directions. Um, a lot of people ask why I didn't put it on the trolling motor. Uh, the trolling motor is the trolling motor. This is live scope. This is a totally different thing. I don't see how anybody can fish with it on the trolling motor. Um, I have I turn this thing around 360 degrees sometimes looking for fish and um, while the trolling motor is going forward at one two miles an hour so um, I found fish behind the boat while going forward so uh, I just don't see how putting it on the trolling motor makes any sense so pretty simple setup again I it's a Stow it. Yep. 
And then uh, these, uh, this fits perfectly on the one inch uh, PVC. Now I could include measurements, but it's gonna depend on your boat and where you, where you mount it. Um, the nice thing about PVC is you can make it too long and you can keep cutting it till it fits, till everything fits together. Um, and if you break something or need more parts, you just go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and get more parts. Um, even with those stainless steel U-bolts and lock nuts I've got on there, uh, I've got less than probably $80 in this setup. And I didn't have to drill any holes in my boat. I do have it angled up. Uh, if you notice there, I have it angled up quite a bit because there is a little bit of sag in it. Um, and uh, that takes up the, sled, this, the uh, sag. Oh, and one other thing, the cable uh, things, uh, this white mesh I have on here and on my trolling motor, um, transducer cord. And on my cords here, it's just a simple cord management system. You can buy these on eBay or Amazon, or wherever you shop. And um, they're pretty cheap, I think $10 for 15 feet, something like that. I forget what its size is, but um, it's very easy to put on, weatherproof, and uh, you can get, uh, I've got three cables on this one. Um, and it just uh, gives you a little extra protection on uh, possibly kinking or hitting your cables, cutting your cables. So, so that's about it. Thanks.